So to all the ladies that ask what to pray on the daily basis, so this Sidur is very good that it has the English uh, transliteration. So over here it starts, This is the Natilat Yadaim, that we said in the morning you got to do one, two, three, four, five, six, and better to do seven and eight. And then you raise your hand above your chin and you say this bracha al Natilat Yadaim. Then you say bracha of the restroom, in case you were in the restroom within the last 72 minutes from the time you bless, you say this bracha, this is the end point, and the English is on this side, the Hebrew is on this side, and all this is mandatory for every man and women to do. The, over here you gotta pay attention, it says, man says, which is, shelo asani goy, and then shelo asani avet, and then shelo asani isha, this is for men. So women should skip those three brachas only, the rest she says. And then the women's substitution bracha is here, Shalom Asani Goya in a female tense, Shalom Asani Shifha in a female tense. And here she says, she just says, Baruch Shasani Kirtsono. She's not supposed to say, Baruch Atta Hashem Elokeinu Melech HaOlam Shasani Kirtsono. Just those three words, Baruch Shasani Kirtsono. Then go to number 18, and all men and women are back on track. Same thing together. And then you have the rest going, continuing here, continuing here, all the way to, till here. If you zoom it in over mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. this is called Birkot Hashachar, the morning blessings. It doesn't have to be during the morning, it could be done throughout the whole time as long as the sun is out. It could be done. This is mandatory for women to say every day, it doesn't have to be in the morning. And Afterwards, what's mandatory, I'm saying right now, is the Amidah. And as we explained last time, that the Amidah, it's called Amidah, from, you see it's called Amidah, from the word standing. In Hebrew, Amidah means standing. Women should recite this standing, facing towards Yerushalayim, towards Jerusalem. Check on your campus where Yerushalayim is. And it starts from here. Adonai Safatai Tiftah Fiyagiti Latecha. If in case it's very hard for you, the transliteration part, you can do it also in English. In case you also want to understand what you read, it's allowed by Jewish law, by Halakha, to do this in English as well. But in the laws of Amidah, there is a lot of laws. I'll try to cover, you know, very few basic ones. In order to know all of them in details, you're going to have to ask the rabbi more in details. But it goes like this. So over here, when you say, Baruch, sorry, here, Baruch, you're supposed to bow down your head, ata, yeah, sorry, your body, then ata, your head, and God's name, Amonai, Ado, and then I, you're supposed to already be upright. Going to, and you continue reading this. The gray area, like you say, it says gray background, it says this is for Rosh Hashanah additions. Rosh Hashanah till Yom Kippur, Aser, Demet Shuvah. So during the year, she's not supposed to read that. Melech Hazir Moshiach again, Baruch again over here, head da body down, Ata head down, and Amonai uh, already full upright. Magen Abraham. This is the first bracha we finished, and like this she continues. Ata Gibor Leolam Adonai Mechayim Etimata Rav Yoshia. Here, right now we are holding during the winter time, so supposed to say Mashiv Aruach Morid Ageshin. Not supposed to say Morid Ata. Morid Ata let's say for the summer section. So those two words supposed to be skipped. And continuing over here. Continuing. All the way to This grave section again you're supposed to skip. This grave section again you're supposed to skip. Here you're not supposed to bow down your head, neither your body. This is the second bracha is finished. This section is skipped for ladies because they don't pray in the minyan, they don't, on the, they don't say kadosh, kadosh, etc. In case they do pray in minyan in the synagogue, so they will say that in the repetition with the, with the community also. The third section, the bracha starts here. Ata kadosh, v'shim ha kadosh, v'doshim v'chol yom ya'alilu chasela, baruch ata Hashem, ha'el ha'kadosh. You see again, great section. This is for Yom Kippur, till Rosh Hashanah, till Yom Kippur. This is skipped during the year. This is the third bracha finished. Then, Ata Chonen La'adam Da'ad, Umlamed Ze'enosh Bina, continuing all this, the gray section, 
you skip them. Here you have summer section, summer section during the winter you're supposed to skip. So from here till here, it's skip. And instead of that, you're reading the winter section, which starts from here. Going all the way to Baruch Hashem and Baruch Hashanim. This is the blessing for Parnasa, for uh, livelihood. To have Parnasa Tova, it finishes over here. Teka Shofar Gadol Echeruteno goes up to here. This Bracha Shiveno goes up to here. This section only during the Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Supposed to say, so skip that section. Continuing from this section, going here, here. Reading this throughout here, over here. Now, whenever you want to understand what you do, you're allowed to look at the English side that I've explained to before. Gray section, you skip. Now, before you say over here, those words of God, Baruch Ado, and then Shomea Tefillah, the Torah allows you to add any personal request from God. I want to have a good husband, I want to have a good children, I want to have Panasatova, I want to have a better neighbor, whatever the request of the female is, she is allowed to add over here, before she says Baruch Ata Ado, God's name, Shomea Tefillah, over here, it's like a, a place that everything is allowed to be added. Before you say Baruch Ata Ado, and then Shomea Tefillah, before. After you finish your personal request, you say Baruch Ata Ado, God's name, and Shomea Tefillah. Continuing here, let's say Adonai Elohim Ba'amecha Yisrael, Uti'i le'ratzon tamid avodat Yisrael, Amecha. All the section you say, now during the a certain occasion, such as today is Rosh Chodesh, supposed to add, Ya'aleh ve'yavo, which is here in the great X section. Elohenu ve'lohe avotenu, Ya'aleh ve'yavo. This section going, on Rosh Chodesh you read just this, Be'yom Rosh Chodesh hazeh, on this day Rosh Chodesh. If it's in other holidays, over here it says there is, over here it says their section, if it's not this time of the holiday, you're supposed to skip that section. Then Lerachem Ba'alenu Here you're continuing all the time during the times that you add this gray area. It's continuing here. Lerachem Ba'alenu Lo'oshienu. Continuing here all the way to Kilmele Hanun Lerachum Ata. This finished here, going to Vata Berachamech Arabim. Baruch Ata Hashem Ahazir Shechinato Lezion. Here is the third time you're supposed to bow down, full body and head. Modim anach nulach shnatahu ado. Here, modim anach nulach shnatahu ado. And then Eloheinu, Elohei avotenu le'olam ba'ed, etc. Ti me'olam kivin ulach. This section over here finishes here. The gray area is supposed to be skipped. Gray area skip. Ve'al kulam barach mitromam continuing here. Chol ha'chaim meduch ha'sela. Gray area skip. Here is the last time she is bowing down, or he also bows down. Baruch, your body, Ata, your head, and then Ado, you upright, finishing God's name. Ado, whenever you're already upright. That's the last section that we bow down. We, I mean to say men or women. And the last part of the tefillah is Sim Shalom. Sim Shalom to Baruch Racha. Baruch Atah Hashem Elach Tamo Yisrael Bashalom Amen Yehu Leratzon Mrefe Vyagion Melefanecha Adonai Tzuru Vegoali Here the Tfilat Amida finished But the custom is to add another section Which is Elohai Netzor Roshoni Mera All the way till here And over here Continuing Till Oseh Shalom Mimomav Here you finished Oseh Shalom Mimomav Uvar Hamav Oseh Shalom Alein Uvar Kol Amo Yisrael Vimbo Amen Now during the video it could look like very hard in the beginning but Whenever you get it, it's maybe it'll take out of your day 10 minutes, 10 to 11, 12 minutes all together, Birkot Shachar and Amida. And this is mandatory for every woman to do once a day Amida and once a day the section of Birkot Shachar. Here it's on that our prayer will be accepted and this wife that will pray for her husband, for children, and for herself, for herself will see a quick result from her prayer. Amen.